nao ni wakati mwema Mungu ametujalia tukafika hapo tunataka kumkaribisha apostle tena ili endelee kutupa mwelekeo endelee kuzungumza nasi kumbuka usubscribe ushare na ucomment karibu sana apostle wale ambao mnaniangalia nataka twende moja kwa moja katika neno la Bwana na ninashukuru Mungu maana hii safari tulianza ukisoma wa Filipi moja sita inasema kwamba Mungu akianza kasi njema na Mungu anajua uzuri wa Mungu anzangi kasi mbaya hapana hapo wa Filipi moja sita inasema Mungu Paulo anasema aliyeanza anawaambia wa kanisa vile wa Filipi kwamba yule Mungu alianza kazi njema katika maisha yao hata lazima ataikamilisha kwa hivyo Kenyans ile safari ilianza na ile neno inakaa katika taifa letu neno ambayo ni neno la ufufio najua tumeiongea sana wahubiri wengi hata wengine wako wameondoka na kuna wengine mmeiongea kwa njia ambayo labda amukuchua kwamba hiyo neno itakuja kutimia namna gani ndio naona ninaona ninapokea nina kila approach so interestingly unakuta hata wengine wanapigania unakuta wanasema uh, kama ni fulani ndiye atakuwa fungua ovyo kama ni wacha niwaambie kitu kimoja kulingana na ufunuo tatu kuanzia mstari wa saba. hiyo ni ile kanisa kulikuwa na makanisa saba hapo yale Yohana akiwa kule Patimo alipatiwa ujumbe au apelekee hii kuna kanisa moja pale katika ufunuo tatu saba. na amini tatu saba. ile inaitwa kanisa la Vilandevia hiyo kanisa nataka tuone wale ambao labda mmependekeza mmekuwa na pendekezo na si mbaya Yaani nikana kwamba yani mnajaribu ku predict kwamba ni nani atakaye anzisha revival. Ninataka niweke mambo vizuri kulingana na neno la Mungu. Maana ngiza lazima iondoke katika maisha yetu. Najua kitu kimoja Mungu ameninua wakati I mean alikuwa anaitarisha wakati kama huu. Niku nikuweka nikulainisha yale makosa ma, I mean some of the wrongs ambazo simefanywa ama tumejipata kuna makosa tumejipata ndani yake ambaye labda wakati mmoja ama mwingine ileletwa na wahubiri ama manabii ambao hawakumngojea Mungu kabisa maana wakati wa Jeremiah maandiko yanasema wakati Jeremiah anaendelea kutabiri anawaambia wana wa Israeli I meant your ways that you may continue living in this land. Kuleinuka other prophets in the midst of the children of Israel. Na wakaanza kutofautiana na Jeremiah. Wanaanza kusema hapana, Jeremiah na wadanganya. Amtaenda katika utumwa. Mungu ndiye alituleta katika hii nchi. Na hii nchi ni yetu na watoto wetu. Wapendwa wa cheni niwaambie Kenya listen to me. Ama wale watu mnanisikiza katika mataifa ya nchi nisikieni niwaambie Nataka tuangalie maandiko hapa ili ushangae sana Nataka nikuonyeshe kwanza ni nani aliye na ufunguo wa revival Nataka <coughs> nisome haya maandiko Iko katika ufunuo tatu Kwanza saba And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write These things these things says he that is holy he that is true he that has the key of David he that opens and no man shuts and he shut and no man openeth Eight I know your works beyond i have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it for thou art for you have a little strength and you have kept my word and you have not denied my name hapa biblia inasema 
ukisoma kuhusu hiyo kanisa ya Philadelphia pale ufunuo tatu kuanzia saba utasoma kutoka pale mpaka mstari wa kumi na mbili hiyo kuhusu hiyo kanisa sitasoma yote sababu ya wakati mnajua tunakomboa wakati maana nikitaja maandiko iandike mahali vizuri na uende ukaisome hii kanisa Yesu anaiambia namna gani ni mimi aliye mtakatifu ni mimi nilie nafungua Yesu anasema anatumana kwa hiyo kanisa anasema enda uambie ili kanisa kwamba ni mimi nilie nafungua wale mnajaribu kumkundandishi mambo ama kujaribu kwa kwenda hapa na pale ili mjaribu kujua ni muhubiri mungani mkubwa ama ni huduma ngani kubwa ama iko na iko na vitu iko na rasilimali kiasi gani ambaye labda ndiyo taanzisha revival nataka kuwatoa pale na niwapeleke juu kiasi maana hii kanisa inaambiwa na Yesu kwamba mimi Yesu ndiye niliyo nafunguo ya Daudi namna gani wakati Mungu alitaka amuinue mfalme ambaye anakimbishana na, 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 na moyo wake ambaye alikuwa ni Daudi kumbuka ukisikia Daudi ametajwa lazima ikuja kwa akili yako kuna Sauli ambaye yuko mahali ukisikia David ametajwa unajua kuna Sauli ambaye alianza taifa la Kenya linafanana saa hii inafanana na wakati saa hii ni kana kwamba tunatoka katika enzi ya Sauli tunaingia kipindi cha Daudi Daudi aliambia Mungu alisema hiyo shida wake sijampata mtu mwingine anayekimbishana na moyo wangu kama Daudi mwana wa Jesse wale mnao nisikia Mungu uchungusha moyo amlipe kila mtu kulingana na vile anawasa ama vile anaweka na ndio nakuta Proverbs 4:23 <coughs> Samani maandiko yanasema namna gani God you are out with all diligence for out of it cometh all the issues of life Kuna mtu anaweza kukaa naye mnacheka hapa nje lakini ndani ni umbo mwitu Kuna mtu mtakutana naye hata kama ni biashara mnafanya anakuonyesha ndili nzuri kabisa biashara na anajua kabisa katika moyo wake anataka uingize hela zako pale baada ya kukupa maneno mazuri alafu atoroke ile pesa yake kuna mwanamke utaona umekutana na mwanaume anakuambia nataka mke kumbi huyu mwanaume labda anataka aribu nini ule ushana wako ama ande tu lale na wewe na kuachilie uende ama kitu ulikuwa naye na kuharibia maisha na anajua kabisa from the beginning roho ya nyoka na ndi pale mwanzo tatu nakuta biblia nasema wanyama walikuwa wengi katika katika shamba la ede lakini maandiko na single out inasema lakini nyoka alikuwa mjanja kuliko wale wengine wote na ndio nakuta wakati kama wote katika taifa la Kenya climax ya roho ya nyoka maana ilijiinua kama vile Mungu alisema mbegu ya mwanamke itakuleta chini itambidi mwana Kenya mkubali itambidi huru kinyata mbai nao uwe umesalenda na kama hujasalenda mimi nataka kusema namna hii na watu wako maana wewe ndio chairman wa mlengo wa kuzini ile azimio ya mabeli pale mwanzo moja itambidi kama hujasalenda mimi sitakuita kama international community mimi sitakuita kama wale mabisho tunakujaribu kuja wanawaambia unajua itabidi mfanye mimi sitaki majadiliano na nyinyi kama aina hiyo mkiona kuna njia mbado au njia exhaust ili mpingane na Mungu niliwaambia mara mbara ya njia ya reality sio si nyinyi mmekata ushindi ambayo tayari Mungu amepeana sio nyinyi mmeuleta hata wewe unajua au na mkono wako pale ndani kile kimebakia kwako ni kusalimu vile katiba tu ya Kenya inasema na wakati wa inauguration uwande wa the instruments of power and then uwambe vizuri na uende ushughulikie mambo mengine najua ulitoka nyumbani mapeli kitambo maana hata wewe ni kama ulizaliwa state house ukakulia pale kwa hivyo ninajua mambo ya nyumbani 
enda uangalie kule fence iliyanguka huenda kwamba kuna 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 watu njia nyingi zile tengenezwa huko and i want to believe i am talking what is there na ndio maana misauri kenyata ulipiga kura na hata kiti ya nyumbani au kurudisha nyumbani Mama mzazi akapiga kura, akurudisha kiti nyumbani. Then deputy president wa ule mlango ulikuwa anashamikia ili ushinde. Mama Karua, ankundeliwa chochote. Hata ni Eric Kalonzo, hata kama yeye ni kama bendera ni pande hii na pande hii. At least naye sio yeye, ni mimi nilirudisha wakamba nyumbani. Na hakuna kitu tunaanza kubishana. Na nilikwambia ukitaka tubishana Trust me as time goes on utajua kwamba it is me speaking on behalf of this community until further notice Roho ya nyoka wanyama walikuwa wanaomba lakini maandiko yanasema nyoka alikuwa mpaya kuliko wanyama wale wengine Wale mnajaribu kutafuta ni nani atakayeanzisha revival na ndio pale unakuta Wacheni Wacheni the chosen vessel the elected president na mimi nasema kwamba the president the unique president the unique chapter that God has opened for this nation and not only for this nation for Africa as a continent and not for Africa as a continent for this generation and because now today whenever you are listen to me Dr. William Samuel Ruto it am bidi kuna shawadi ambayo mimi as an apostle as a man of God nikiwa na jamii yangu tutakuletea ambayo ni biblia nzuri sana ambayo inatoka shilingi elfu kumi. ni biblia nzuri sana katika zile zile katika zile bidii zile tafsiri za biblia ni akili ni King James Version na ni biblia nzuri sana ambayo iko na umaarufu wake ambayo ni biblia nzuri hiyo ndiyo sawadi nitakayokupatia I want to give you the sword of the spirit ule upanga watu mnangangania mara tete si upanga uko na majeshi uko na nini mimi nitaanda kwa kwako one of these fine days a very good bible ndio nitakuletea kama sawadi ndio ukumbuke kila wakati the battle the race is not to the strong na ukumbuka vita haishindwi sababu ya pesa. Ingelikuwa ni pesa, hauwezi ukatoboa. One of the leg and soul. If I could not have risen up and scatter those people, you could not have managed kwenda pale umefika. Na sio mimi peke yangu. Na wale waliokole wengi wote in the census, even watu wote wale watu tu, hata wengine ni watu hawajana hata i mean hata wengine ni watu ambao hawajui Mungu kwa ndani lakini wanasema Mungu tusimeswa na nyoka tumekataa utawala wa nyoka hakuna atakayeona nyoka akataa kujua ni adui yako karibu na nataka ni waonyeshe wasomi Mungu alipotaka kumtuma Musa Misri anampata na kijiti ya kuchunga ngombe na Musa anapo shindwa ataenda kwanza wapi? Mungu anamuuliza uko na nini mkononi? Anamwambia ni kijiti. Ya kuchunga ngombe, kuchunga kondoo. Mungu akamwambia weka chini. Alipoiweka ikabadilika akakuwa nyoka. Tunatumikia Mungu mwenye enzi. Na ndio nilisema watu wa kudharau Mungu. Chapter yenu ni cross. Wale umechaguliwa anta huo mlengo endeni kama ni maambimu wapishwe maamshi yao wapishwe ma women representative ma senators na governors endeni mwapishwe na mwanze kumlilia Mungu kuwaambia ile sumu imeingia ndani yenu ya nyoka iwe flash out hiyo ndoke na mjipeane kutumikia nchi ya Kenya mjipeane kumsaidia Mungu kashi maana ile kiwango huko Unapo kama wewe ni amshie unawakilisha watu wako vizuri unamtumikia Mungu. Tetesi sako kalonso msoka kwamba mbando mapambano. Mimi nilikwambia and I'm telling you for free. 
Hakuna mapambano yuko pale. Ashara baada ya ashara. The, the more you had in your heart, count it lost every day. Talosho nataka nikufanyie mahesabu kulingana na neno la Mungu. Ni kama nilisikia ukisema uko 68 kuna wanasiasa wamejaribu kusema mpaka unatumika vibaya pale katika kambi ya nyoka mpaka nywele simeanza kuisha nilisikia matamshi kama yale kwa mfano ninasema namna gani chukua miaka 68 na uongeza nyingine kumi. na labda uongeze kumi nyingine ni kwa nini kwani tachosa ni verso kwani the yule president ameingia Ruto kwani atenda miaka 20. Vile ninaona huyu mtu wa Mungu akiwa na roho safi na akiendelea kushikilia sauti ya Mungu. Naona itafika mahali hata kama katiba inasema tambili watu wa Kenya kwa sauti moja waseme kiti ya uraishi wacha huyo mtu mcha Mungu aendelea kuongoza hili taifa kwa miongo ingine miwili ama mitatu. Lakini hivyo roho tuchukue miaka kumi. Huru kinyata ulitabiri yako kumi na yake kumi. wacha nichukua tu hiyo na niwape ufunuo mwingine Ruto ako na miaka 55 ukichukua tano kuongeza tano unapata kumi. muunjisa wa kumi. Egypt ni Mungu alitenda au kutendwa na Musa read your bible well Moses did nine miracles muunjisa wa kumi. Farao akakasirika. Na akamwambia utakapotokea mbele yangu, nitakuweka chini. Nitakuua. Kama vile Ruto alivukushwa. Eh, ni kama umbwa imekula mayai sokoni. Kasi anayostahili kufanya. Matiani wetu wameishi kufanya. Unajua hivyo it is on record at start to be shown. Unaweza kusimamia hiyo. Nimeshindia kuambia ni 0700217222. Ukifika wote machama kwani count. Ulisa kasarani estate. I'm just there. Very good man. I'm like a ship. Baroso le kalayo. I am visible, but I am also invisible. I am a human being and also a god. How? to talk about Miaka 55 Muujiza wa kumi. Farao alipomwambia Musa usikuje mbele yangu Musa alimwambia umeongea ukweli Dr. William Samuel Ruto thank you for accepting to go forward and lead Kenyans out of captivity being a son from the village being somebody aliyesungusha mayai ukiwa mtu au una historia ongera kwako congratulations We celebrate you as a man with a record from the from the dust to the up. So when you talk about the bottom up narrative you are talking your life. It is a narrative of God. Everything begins na mbegu seed. When Jesus comes he begins the gospel there. What does he say? That the spirit of God is upon me to do what? To preach good news to the poor. So, those who are taking time to believe that God has remembered the poor to bring, to, to take them from the dust and to cause them to sit with the kings. You better believe it. If you don't change The way you think, the way you feel things, they change you, change you. Let the poor say I am rich. The same Jesus 
He took out the poverty. He laid upon himself. And he left rich wealth, riches to the poor. I will add this section by Revelation chapter 5 and verse 12. Jesus Christ was locked up that we may receive power, that we may receive wealth. Every poor person who are listening to me, it is the end time. Change the way of your thinking. It doesn't matter what you are passing today, but there's a God in heaven who was upon a time, he shone, he shone Jesus Christ. He left his glory. He came down. He laid down his life for you, Madam Poor, Mr. Poor, Family Poor, Nation Poor. And after laying his life down, he took your poverty. And when he was living, what did he leave behind him? Revelation 5 12. He was slaughtered. So one of the reasons Jesus was led like a sheep to be slaughtered. Just the same way the elected president, the unique president who is taking over the nation of Kenya because of the purpose of God in his nation. He was humiliated, subjected to all kinds of no courage, God knows, but yet willingly he accepted. He was nailed on the cross, the Son of God, who is God again Himself. And then through that, we who were weak. We became strong. Siju imunangwa jia kwa na nini ngini. Revelation 5, Pyof, Jesus was slaughtered. That we may receive, we may receive power. That we may receive, I mean, wealth. That we may receive wisdom. And that is why there is no wise man. There is no wise woman. There is nobody in this planet Earth, whether he goes to church or he doesn't go to church, who can stand up and say, when you see urine, you see God, when you see rain, when you see rain coming down, you, that is God urinating. Ecclesiastes chapter 10. Verses 15, it is only a fool who says, and the Bible says there, fools, wajinga, wanachoke shananga wao wenyewe. Ni kama vile munasema woy, tuleibiwa woy, tulebea akuna, niliwambia akuna. Na mimi niliwambia, munataa kuenda, kuendeni, ata nama vikaipa siku ya leo, akuna kura milioni moja mutapata. Nimeshanga sana. It was like when people were coming to know that you have been saying such, mo such mocking words to the living God. Whether you concede, you don't have to concede, get into the Red Sea. But take it from me. What God has done, what God is doing in this nation, no man, no de calabosa, nothing that can stop it. Christians, whatever you are, those people who are wishing well for Kenya, Evian, stop having anxiety in you. Already the battle has been won. My number is 0700. 217 222. Wale number. Ama pale, kikapu wa sandaka. Vile munawesa kuandika cheki zenu. Paybill ndio hiyo, namba. Na pia namba angu ya nini. Namba ya nini. Mpesa ndio hiyo. 
Give your offerings now. We are building. Tunaza kujenga next week. Pale ambao wale mnatamani kuja kumlelea Bwana. One thing I'm going to share and tell you. Whoever connects with what God has told me to do. You are you will realize something funny. Then give to faith. Your faith will be will be ignited. I know what kind of a man, what kind of a material I'm made of. Then give to faith. Utangundua ulikuwa una imani ya kusonga mbele. Kunisikisha tu hivi. Imani yako inakuwa. Maana Mungu alisema namna gani? Hebrews 11:6. It is impossible to please God without faith. Faith is a requirement where we are today. Jesus asked his disciple, "Will I find faith when I come back?" Faith is a bill. Jesus comes back. Part 